this bit. <laughs> I feel like I need to be right here. Ooh, it's like pupils dilating. Hey, how you been anyway, Toby? Good, good, yeah. mate. Yeah. You got Looks pretty good. Oh, How's your Wim Hof been? Huh? How's your Wim Hof been doing uh, the oh, breathing? It's still cold chair. It's never, yeah. had a, never had a hot chair on its own for years now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like this morning. Yeah, yeah. Every, every day. Breathing as well? How's the no, How many times no, a week? No, I've got to do the breathing. Oh, what? Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I do more the, I definitely do the cold showers and I, I'm more focused on the breathing because the cold showers, yeah, you just wake up, do it. Yeah. Um, sometimes I don't even shower in the morning though. Oh, you know, like shower the night before and then yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, out the door, so I'm like. Morning or night, but yeah. one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But what about your breathing? You doing the breathing? Yeah, yeah, yeah sort of maybe three, four times a week. Yeah. And I just find my day goes a lot better. Yeah. When I do it, sort of like meditation, I think, yeah. I feel, yeah. I've got a good, um, I've got a recording one that's only 17 minutes long, and it's four rounds of oh. the Wim Hof, yeah, and, it, and there's a two, two and a half minute breath hold at the end, I think, 130, yeah, 132, oh, one minute, 130, two minutes, then 230 at the end, yeah. It's amazing so. what you can do with that. Yeah, and, so, and if I do it on empty tummy, I can probably do three minutes, yeah, yeah. and then you feel just charged up, ready for the day. Brilliant. Yeah. How we going, mate? We're re uh, talking about charges up, mate. You're uh, back in action, eh? We, you've had a real break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a uh, just you know, life is life, and you got a. Um, all my last two fights, I had a lot, of, a lot on my plate with my son and and other things. So I just took some time to sort that stuff out, and now it's all good. So looking at. Um, I've tentatively booked something in for July, uh, and I don't see why they wouldn't um, book me for that date, because I've hit me up for every show within the Oceania, Australia, even Las Vegas area for the last like year. It's been a year now since my last fight, so I've been asking, and yeah, I've just been putting it off for getting life sorted outside the cage. But I'm excited, I'm enjoying training. Hard out, been working with the new um, strength and conditioning coach Steve Pipe. He's actually a former fighter. He trained Superbon and Pitch Watti, I think his name is, uh, Thai fighters. They're both they're both students of Boakor, and he was their strength and conditioning coach. So he knows combat sports pretty well inside out. Uh, not so much the grappling stuff, but I'm seeing main benefits in the in the grappling exchanges before this new strength. Yeah. Former strike force boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Steve Pipe, former strike force boy. I think he actually started fighting before I did. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Just been watching a few of his old fights. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you had the complete break. The head was always a big thing with you. You're, yeah. You're, you're yeah, like, that's with everyone, I guess, yeah, really. Yeah. Like, if that's not right, then, then your days don't go right, and then your training doesn't go as good as it could, it could be. Um, my last two camps were really good. That was a weird thing. Like physically, I was performing well in my camps. Um, it's just, you know, when it comes to fight week, if your head's not right, a lot of that compounds, like okay. compounding interests, yeah. 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 Putting, putting the wrong checks in the bank. And then when it comes to fight week, you're, it's almost too late to fix those things. You can't just like, you can fake it, but yeah. sometimes you don't make it. And um, yeah, I've been working, working on that a lot. Yeah. So focus is there, the mental focus is there now? Yeah, on yeah. the right things, focus yeah. on the right things, the positive things and moving forward. Um, I actually have a plan like with what I'm doing in the sport. Because I look, at, look up to you know our teammates, you see Israel doing his thing. He always came in with a plan as soon as he came into the UFC. Um, Brad has a plan, you know, and we've all got different um, Oh, what would you say, adversities that we have to overcome, but that when you've got a plan, you can get knocked off course slightly, but you can just realign yourself with the plan. Seeing like Dan doing what he's done in the last year, just like fighting very consistently, taking late, late notice fights. Like I just see everyone's doing, you know, doing things different in their own way. And I realize like my part of why I've, like I've been in the UFC and I've only fought once a year, I think one, twice in one year, but yeah, it's been like very, not, um, cons oh, well, yeah, it's consistently like one fight, but I think a big thing for me was just not stressing over that. 
and just realizing my path's different and made I've made myself a player now that's totally different to everyone else's and not trying to be like anyone else in the gym, just being myself and have my own journey. Yeah, That's good, man. That's good. I'm glad because that's been the only thing that's been helping. You've got everything else, you know, yeah. and just to, to uh, admit you're always open to me, you know, and yeah. I, yeah. I appreciate that. And I think there's a lot of people out there in, in the same sort of boat where, you know, things don't go smooth all the time mm. and you've just got to be able to find a way to deal with them. Yeah, I think there's some quote, I don't know who said it, but it's like, um, comparison is the death of happiness or something like that. And I was like, yeah, that's what I've been like struggling with. Not well, struggling, but just sort of at the back of the mind, like comparing myself to my teammates, comparing myself to other fighters my age or in my position or similar length of time in the UFC and stuff. And yeah, it's just, you know, I'm gonna, when I think about it, I'm gonna, really amazing place. I'm in the best gym in the world. I'm in the best organization in the world. I'm not even like near my prime in physicality or, or like age wise. And yeah, the last couple of years I've not been focusing on that. I've more been focusing on like, oh, why haven't you had a fight? Um, you know, why don't you, why am I not further along in like certain things like say contract wise or yeah, fights and rankings and stuff like that. Does. So yeah, not comparing myself to others has been a big, a big improvement mentally. Yeah. Oh well, you're uh, Thanks, <laughs> you're on track again, mate. Yeah, we're on track uh, again. yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's good to see you're good in good shape. How's the weight and how is the training going? Yeah, my weight's pretty good. I'm only like sitting ten kilos off um, fight weight, and normally I'd be entering into camp like slightly over this. So my plans to enter into camp like sub eight of um, my fight weight and then fight week like three kilos. So that's one thing I think, yeah, mentally, like if you're not in a good place mentally, my, for my thing is like I'm like an emotional eater. So I like try like cover my like mental health stuff with just eating and yeah, nah, none of that. No, not necessary. Oh, yeah, cool, just right? keep up the Wim Hof. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks Rob. Mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, mate. I, I, I really, really do appreciate you. You know, you come on here. And there's so many people out there that um, that are in similar positions, and yeah, and if you can talk about it, they can talk about it now. Because you've been a bit of a mentor to a lot of people, you know, and and people look up to you, and it's you know you can pass on the message, hey, yeah, we can get over this. Because I've seen you post things where you say, hey, get in touch with me and all that sort of thing. Yeah, so. yeah I even put that on the back burner because that was like, I don't really speak on it then, but that's another thing that like, I put pressure on myself to do. Yeah. And it's not, it's like... You can't help everybody. Yeah, and it's not going to, it's, like, it's only making me go like this instead of just being like, okay, I'm just going to run first, get, get a good stride going and then be easier to do that stuff. Yeah. But it's almost like trying to spin too many plates at once. Yeah. Was what I was doing there. Yeah, so. You've got to focus on you yeah. sometimes, mate. You've got to focus on you. Punch people in the head.